Okay, we're back uh, in our last session here with Mayor Constantine from Morgan Hill. Mayor, just want to ask, how are you dealing with the challenges of working from home? Well, you know, as I mentioned earlier with my, as you mentioned, coworker, you know, sometimes uh, <laughs> we have little interruptions, but uh, that's just part of life. I mean, it's, again, it's, it's finding out the new norm and getting used to meeting and having meetings virtually uh, on Zoom or through conference calls and, and whatnot. I've got a couple of conference calls coming on, uh, one right after this, and then getting updated from the county. So, you know, it's gonna be, it's, it's, it's been interesting, um, but as with anything, you get used to it. So we're definitely getting used to uh, working with it. Um, unfortunately, there have been times that uh, we've heard of, we, we've been knocking on wood, haven't had an issue with Zoom in Morgan Hill, but I do know that in your city, there have been some unfortunate hacking that has gone on. So as we try and, and, and have meetings that are open to the public, <clears throat> I just want the public to be aware of the fact that we have to also protect against malicious intent. So it's, there's a delicate balance on, on how we make sure that we're open to the public as best as we can without allowing, allowing people to hijack our meetings and to disrupt them. So I, I always want, want to make sure I, I, I ask patients because we try and be as transparent as possible, but we're, we're kind of working through this as we go. So uh, I just ask people to be patient, but we're, do, we're doing pretty good. No, you're right. I, and I think that um, as we go further along with these, just more of these uh, security protocols will have to be implemented on these kinds of meetings just to ensure that uh, the hackings don't occur and the, and the types of things that we dealt with here uh, have to ever be seen again. So uh, good point on that. I actually read an article this morning. There's an insurance company, a large company in the Midwest, probably has about 4,000 offices across the U.S. They are going to uh, shut most of those down and make them do work from home going forward. So in some cases, people have found that this is really a, a better option for them, and they're starting to implement uh, more of the work from home uh, situations. And part of the reality, and as we come through this, as I mentioned earlier, the, the economic downfall is going to be prevalent. So companies may use this as a way to help reduce their cost. You know, as we saw in, in past recessions, businesses, one of the first things they, they cut is business travel. So the airlines suffer from that. So this is something that we may see for, for quite some time. Exactly. And yeah, these Zoom meetings really do play into that and, and does uh, allow a, a the, the long distance types of communications to go on sort of face to face, if you will, without having to incur these travel costs. Exactly. Well, Mayor, as we, as we do begin to come out of this, what's the, uh, what's the first thing you're looking to do when the, uh, the shelter in place order is lifted? Get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> now, I imagine um, some long lines. At, yeah, uh, ex exactly. Uh, one, of the, one of the things I need is to get a haircut. You know, that's an interesting question because I really don't know um, because being home with my family and you, 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 you got that, 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 um, bond. Um, but you know, because we've been able to do essential things like, like go to the grocery store and things like that. Um, you know, I, I like to say go on vacation, but, uh, you know, that's, again, that's not something that we're going to be able to do right away. So, um, you know, the little things that I think we haven't been able to do, um, it's not my turn yet to go to the dentist, uh, but uh, every six months I have to go to the dentist. So I'm one of those things, the things that we haven't been able to do that we've been take, we've taken for granted, like getting a haircut or, you know, just going down to the local store or you, your, your local uh, restaurant and have a seat and have a drink with a friend or something like that. Those are the things that, you know, we're going to be looking forward to do. Um, but again, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to take a while, but Indeed. what about you? What are you, what are one of the first things you're going to do? I'll probably be right behind you looking to get a haircut. So, <laughs> yeah, those are, those are, but you know, it's interesting what you say. It, it, it does help us begin to, I mean, we will find ourselves now probably more grateful than ever for those conveniences that we have had in the past, which now we're, we're a little bit limited in, uh, in experiencing. So uh, I, I think and hope that as we come out of this, more and more of our residents will uh, do more to support our local businesses, whether restaurants, barbershops, uh, retail, whatever that might be, because as you said earlier, uh, both our cities really rely on sales tax, property tax, TOT, all of those things are so important to running a city that uh, we'll need to get those numbers back up again. Right, right. And unfortunately, it's not something that's going to happen very quickly. It's going to take time. 
Exactly right. Okay. Mayor, before we go, any final thoughts? Well, I just want to make mention um, for anyone listening in Morgan Hill, if they have any questions, they need to contact us. We do have a virtual call center and the number is 408-767-6404. And I'll mention that again. I'm sure there's some people that are going to need to uh, probably they could hit pause and come back and get some paper. But um, that's a way that people can, if they have questions, they can um, call, leave a message, and we promise to get back to them within 24 hours. And so again, that number is 408 408- 767-6404. And I, again, I just want to remind people that what we're doing right now, though it may be difficult and we, we want to try and get back to normal, that's just the way we are as a country. Uh, we don't want to be impeded by anything, but we have to really understand that the only thing that is stopping this pandemic from spreading is the fact that we are social distancing and we are following the protocols that have been set forth by not only the county, but also the state. So as long as we persevere, we follow through with that, um, we'll remain safe. But again, this is the only thing that is keeping us safe, keeping us healthy, is making sure that we social distance. So be patient, stay strong, stay home, and uh, we'll get through this. Yeah, thank you for that reminder. And thank you again for joining us today for our virtual legislative summit. So much appreciate all that you're doing in Morgan Hill and uh, participating with us today. Again, I appreciate the invite. Thank you, Mark. You're quite welcome. I'm Mark Turner, President of the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce.